What's up guys? So today we're going to be making the caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino from Starbucks. This is my favorite drink of all time. I love the caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino. But like when we go to Starbucks, they always um <laughs> What? <laughs> Angelo and Sidon are watching me. <laughs> So every time I go to get that drink from Starbucks, it costs like a lot. And now I want to be able to drink this like three times a week without going broke. So that's why we're going to learn how to make it today. So this is actually really simple to make. It only requires four ingredients, excluding toppings. So we're going to be making four servings. So this recipe requires two to three cups of ice, two cups of whole milk, one cup slash approximately six cubes of Via Instant Frozen Coffee. We just use one packet of Starbucks Instant Coffee and then we froze it. And then 12 tablespoons of vanilla syrup that we'll show you how to make later. And then for the toppings, you can add whipped cream, caramel sauce, and then crushed up caramel candies for like the crunchiness. To make the coffee, you're gonna add one packet of the instant coffee, then you're gonna add eight ounces of hot water, then you're gonna stir it, let it cool, put it in an ice tray, and then freeze for later use. So it requires about a cup of coffee, so we just added about six cubes in there. And if you want more coffee, you can obviously add more. And if you don't like the taste of coffee, add less. It's totally up to you. So like I said, the vanilla syrup is one of the ingredients to making the drink. And the vanilla syrup requires a half cup of sugar, a half cup of water, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now I'm gonna pour a half cup of sugar in, and then I'm gonna stir the sugar until it completely dissolves. That should only take like less than a minute to dissolve. Now I'm gonna add the vanilla extract. Now that I finished stirring it, I'm going to turn off the heat and let it cool while I make the other part of the drink. So I'm going to add three cups of ice. One cup of frozen coffee. And then one cup of milk. And eight tablespoons of our vanilla syrup. Now I'm going to blend it. So we're gonna add four more tablespoons of the vanilla syrup because we like it a little sweeter. Okay guys, I'm gonna see how it tastes. This <laughs> even screaming downstairs. It tastes really good. So I have four glasses here for me, Angelo, Sidon, and my mom. Now I'm gonna pour the drink in. So with that recipe, we actually ended up making three 12 ounce glasses. So you guys know that on the Starbucks drinks, they have like the little like graham cracker, caramel, hard toffee pieces that go on top of the whipped cream. So to like make like a little copycat thing of that, we're gonna be crushing up hard caramel candies. So we're using Brock's, I think that's how you say it. Brock's Nips Caramel Hard Candies. Oh. Yes, Angela, oh, you got it. Oh. Use both hands. Oh. It is too hard. It's the any of it. <laughs> I'm gonna top it off with some whipped cream, caramel sauce, and then the caramel crunchy toppings. What's caramel sauce? <laughs> it's caramel sauce. Oh, caramel drizzle. What's ready whip? Stop. <laughs> what is it? You it's whipped cream. Yeah, I'm really good at this. So. I'm so good at this. Now I have to add the caramel sauce. I actually bring the most. <laughs> Squeeze. Squeeze. <laughs> Squeeze it harder than you. It's hard. There, there's it. There's your add. There we go. There's the end. Now I'm gonna add the caramel crunchy toppings. Caramel's literally just straight up it's sugar. Perfect. Is it actually? Yeah. Well, it's this is like toffee. So can I make my own caramel? With these? I don't know. I think that's good enough. We just need me putting them in. Actually, I need to clean the table first. Okay, guys. Sorry, Ollie's barking because Angel's dad's here. But now I want to try this delicious caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino, homemade. You guys ready? Let's try it. 
Mmm. This is really good. Mm. <laughs> I'm not really a coffee person, but you like it? Hmm? Are you sure? Don't lie. Don't lie. We don't want a fake food or I'm a hundred percent positive. I actually like it. Right. Yeah, if you're not a coffee person, you probably won't like it that much because it has coffee in it, obviously. Dude, how would you rate this drink? I'll just go one to ten. Uh nine point five. Nine point five, really? I would rate this just the drink alone, I'll rate it at eight out of ten. But compared to the Starbucks drink, I think it's six out of ten. Okay, Angela, on a scale of one to ten, how would you rate it? Um, I would rate it about well, one, I'm not a coffee person, okay, so that, that downs it by a little bit. So, eight. eight. Oh, That's yeah. really good. Nice. I'm glad that you like it, Angelo. Anyway, Angelo has to head out. So, see ya. Bye, guys! <laughs> Bye. So, if you still want to drink this and you're not a big coffee person, you can just add less coffee and sweeten it up a little bit. All right, guys, so that's how you make the Caramel Ribbon Crunch Frappuccino homemade. I think it was super good, and I definitely recommend that you guys try it out yourselves. I'm going to be putting the ingredients to all of this in the description down below, so make sure to check that out. I like this recipe because it's pretty flexible. Like, you can add as much coffee as you want, you can add as much vanilla syrup as you want. It's really just a personal preference on how you want the drink to taste. The way that we made it is perfect for us. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, share, and turn on post notifications. And also remember to be kind and positive vibes only. Love you. Bye.